guys, welcome back to my channel, The Diva Soul. I'm Radishri Singh, and I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to remove my gel nail polish at home. This is the first time I'm ever removing my gel nail polish at home, so I hope it turns out to be successful and it, this video proves to be helpful to you all. So, cutting the intro short, let's begin. So, the things that we'll be needing to remove our gel nail polish is acetone, cotton balls tooth because I do not have a nail groomer and at the end of the process I'll uh, need a nail groomer or something to remove the remaining gel nail polish so first I'm going to use a round uh, a little broader part of the toothpick to remove it and if that doesn't work out then I'll go with the uh, tip of the toothpick to remove it very gently so I do not hurt myself or you know damage my nails then we need aluminium foil I've already you know uh, made them into small square pieces so that I don't waste time later on and a nail filer so i need a nail filer because i'll be uh, i have already done that but i'll be uh, filing the uh, tip of my nail so that the gel nail polish from the tips get, uh, gets removed uh, somewhat and it's easier for the acetone to penetrate and it'll make easier for the gel nail polish to get removed so that's it now let's actually start the process so i'm done with the first step that is filing my nail so i this is uh, this was a cotton ball i opened this cotton ball and i'm gonna uh, you know tear this cotton ball into five or four how many ever pieces uh, you can out make out of this uh, tiny pieces for each of your fingers so to cover each of your finger with acetone I'm not gonna soak my hands or my fingers in acetone because then it will make my entire hand very dry so I'll rather go with the uh, soaking cotton balls and putting it on my nails rather than soaking my entire hand in acetone so now I'm done tearing the cotton ball into small pieces this is four I'm gonna I have one other cotton ball so which i'm going to tear into remaining six or four pieces whatever works now i'm going to take acetone and pour it in a glass bowl and you know soak the cotton balls in it till it is completely saturated the cotton balls are completely saturated and completely soaked in acetone now i've soaked the cotton in acetone the cotton has absorbed all the acetone that's why you can't see uh, remaining acetone only a little bit of acetone is remaining over here so now that the cotton is fully drenched in acetone so now i'm gonna apply it onto the, my nails i'm gonna just put it on my nails like this take a foil paper and cover my finger like this with foil paper and I'm going gonna do the same thing to the rest of my fingers so, so now I'm done applying cotton and aluminium foil and acetone on my fingers and this is what I look like ha 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 so now I'm gonna leave it for till about 15 minutes so because I got my nails done at around one month ago so I'm gonna leave it for a little longer around 15 to 18 minutes and then remove it and let's see if this works or not so we are done with 18 minutes so now i'm gonna remove the foil paper and see uh if you know the gel uh, nail polish is ready to it's you know it's removable from the toothpick and everything and if it's not then i'll take another cotton soak it in acetone and apply it for five to ten minutes more let's do this yo bro yo i'm going crazy Okay, I'm not sure about this one. I think I can remove it. Okay. Uh, I'll remove the foil paper from my thumb later because it's got the last one. And the beach me that uh that this uh, foil paper fell off from my thumb so it again so good in cotton. So now I'm gonna take this cotton and just try to push off uh the jelly and polish let's see if i can remove it by uh, with the help of a toothpick or not yeah i can time for mr toothpick very gently i'm gonna
So I'm done removing the gel nail polish. This is the final result. This is still fine. The nail polish on my thumb is not completely has not completely gone. It's still there on the uh, the tip of my nail. But anyway, I'm going to cut off my my uh, top of my nail. Cut my nails today. So because I am not very good at managing long nails. So I don't know how how I manage long nails for these many days. Uh, my and actually, uh, I'm not surprised that my nail polish of my nails polish didn't go off immediately, like you know, easily, because it has been over a month, like almost one and a half months since I got my nails, and I got it done on second January. And today, when I'm shooting this video, it's fifteenth Feb. So yeah, almost one and a half months. So yeah, that was bound to happen. But first time, please, obviously, the results are satisfactory, but. It's a very tedious process, so I'll prefer doing it at uh, you know getting it done at a or a parlor or a salon. So yeah, this is this is what the result is. Now, though, because my nails have become too dry because of acetone, I'm gonna apply a hand cream. The hand cream is from My Glam, which is the Wipeout Germ Killing Hand Cream. It is uh, it has cinnamon and rosemary oil. So yeah, I'm gonna apply it. I'm going to specially focus on my nails more than my hands because my hands are not dry because I didn't dip my entire hand in, uh, in acetone. Only my nails were covered with acetone or, uh, you know, cotton balls soaked in acetone. So, yeah. It smells good. This smell, okay, this, this, uh, the smell of this cream reminds me of that Madhiwala tail, you know. My, uh, my grandmother used to apply that uh, oil a lot. So, yeah. It smells like that. So, done but no not you know not completely happy with the result if i had to rate this process of removing gel nail polish at home then i would give it around 3.5 or 4 stars out of 5 so this was all for this video if you guys like this video like comment and share don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram to check out my cool cute beautiful pictures and thank you so much for watching bye